At this time, we're going to uh, open the floor up to, uh, for any public input. Please use the microphone if you do so choose. Don Snyder, live on uh, Mud Mill Road. It's a pleasure to uh, welcome the new board members and uh, Madam Supervisor. Thank you, Mr. Um, Snyder. I read the uh, paper today and was a little disturbed uh, with some of the comments that were in there and some of what happened at the organizational meeting. Uh, I was out of town, so I was able to be here. Um, Madam Supervisor, we voted for you and for your two uh, running mates. Uh, because we talked about open government, we talked about a change, we would not have the board as it was in the past. And I read in the paper today that we did not put out an RFP for both lawyer services and engineering services. And the paper at least said that what you all said was, well, you know, that's the way it was always done. Why would you expect us to do anything different? And I would hope that that was just something you had to do because of the the uh, spur of the moment, uh, because you had to get it done, we had to get those people on board. But I would hope that we don't use the past history of this board as why we will do something in the future, because that's why we voted for a change, that's why we have a change, and that's why, ma'am, you're sitting there uh, as our supervisor. Uh, so if you take that into account. Um, also, I had no problem with a change in the meeting day uh, being an old folk, I have a little problem with the time. I'm wondering if you could consider going back to the 6.30 time. Uh, it just makes it a little bit easier for some of us that uh, you know like to go to bed a little early. Uh, there's obviously nothing on TV, so it's we're not rushing home to get TV. Um, well, there's a basketball game there. Well, <laughs> there is. That means that somehow we're somehow on our screen and should be in the settlement. But if we could kind of maybe consider uh, that also. Well, uh, We'll take that into consideration. Thank, Thank you, Mr. Snyder. Do we have anyone else who would like to uh, speak this evening? Good evening. My name is Mollett. Got a couple of things. Glad to see you folks here because uh, I got a thing that I've been working on for a year. Spent a lot of money and freedom of information and don't have any answers yet. I'm thinking of Bruin Revitalization Project. I talked with Mr. Carl and with Ms. Bucky, the supervisor. I'd like to know if you have a line item accounting, line item accounting for this. I looked at the uh, nice website they've got, 144 pages, I think it was. I asked Mr. Carl, he did not know what it cost. I think Ms. Bucky was going to look into it. Did you get a figure on that at all? Not yet, Mr. Um, okay. Let, I, I have a, a meeting scheduled with, uh, in regards to that and hopefully being brought up to speed. Okay, thank you. Another thing that bothers me is the fact that we keep hearing about $765,000 going to take care of everything. I understand we have now spent $490,000 for that project. It's from the former controller, where we've got 90,000 back. So we're $400,000 in the bucket. I just wonder, with the recession the way it is, are you going to continue with this project? You have no money in economic development that I know of. They had $200,000 or something that knocked it out. How are you going to afford this project? Again, I have a meeting that is scheduled so that I can be brought up to speed. Um, the money that has been expended, it, our grants, um, I'm, we are putting together all of the uh, financial part of this program. Uh, as far as continuing with it, uh, we're looking at as well and finding uh, it would be it would not be a good move to not consider going forward with it, but obviously we can't go forward with it if we don't have any money. Okay. You have not received the grant yet, right? The grant has been received. The uh -huh. DOT the, the But DOT before you can it. get it, you have to do so much work and then be able to save, all right? That's correct. Okay. 
You gotta spend seven hundred and sixty-five thousand dollars in fucking taxpayer money before you can build a college or the state. I think it's an awful. I've been working on this thing for a year. Glad to see you folks come here because I think you've got something here that's a little discriminatory <coughs> towards the rest of the people in this town. I live at the south end of the town. Nobody has got anything there for me, economic development. Where are you going to get the money? You know, Mr. Conway's on the board of the thing. Perhaps he could tell me. Uh, well, as far as the $764,000, the state still has that. Uh, I don't know where you come up with a $480,000 figure. I know that we had two grants, one from Mr. Brown and one from Dave Velasky, which each one was for $125,000. Okay. Uh, as far as paying Saratoga Associates, uh, we took and borrowed uh, $30,000. Uh, maybe you can correct me on this, Jim. We borrowed, <coughs> didn't we borrow that in October for November and December? to pay the 15000 each month to uh, Saratoga Associates? I, I, I believe so, and, and Mr. Millett, I think when we discuss this, I also want an opportunity, I know Shirley is just coming on board, uh, getting everything, you know, playing with the system, and I'll be able to sit down with her and go over exactly where we stand, because there's a change over in the office. And I think someplace else, uh, Someone said that you owe them $220,000 now. Is that true? The developer. The contract. It, 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 the Saratoga Associates. Saratoga Associates. $220,000 now. That's their fee. That, we that, have is, yeah, that is the fee for the complete project when it's fully designed and worked. You have no money yet at all? We have what? Have you paid the engineer any money at all? We paid him $30,000. Well, this is what I just brought up that we had borrowed out of another account and we paid them 15000 and I believe it was November and 15000 in December. And we've got uh, a meeting tomorrow with them to go over this. Okay, because here's the thing. I talked with a former controller. He told me that you have taken in four hundred ninety thousand dollars on your project. 90000 came in in the form of grants. Now, grants is nothing but pork barrels. My money, your money, going in the state and give it back to you. I'm very concerned about this situation from this standpoint. You don't have enough money to really finance this. <coughs> Secondly, you are now in a recession, a very bad recession, incidentally. You're not going to have the money. I hope <coughs> you don't have to borrow more money in order to handle this project. Anybody got any ideas on how you could stop this project? As I said, Roy, we've just come on board and we're looking at it, and we would be happy to get back to you as soon as we have the answers that you're looking for. You have a meeting with these people right. tomorrow? Yes, we do. Who's going to be at the meeting? Myself, Vern, yeah. uh, Mr. Rizzigno, Joey Rogers, <coughs> Shirley. Any other board member? No. No. Vern, Vern is, is the liaison. Okay. Two board members are I'd like to be invited. If you have three board members there, you can't stop the public from going to your meeting. Right. There'd have to be a public notice. That's right. Great. Right. So if you have more than two members there, please let me know. Thank I you. I certainly will, Ron. Thank Pardon you. Me? I said I certainly will. Thank you. We'll let you know. Huh? We'll let you know if okay. we have one. <laughs> Thank you. Is there anyone else who would like to speak?